today I wanted to do a new makeup look that I've been doing for the past, this past week actually, or like half of the week. So I have been inspired by Amber Scholl. If you don't know who that is, she's a YouTuber and she does like, she mostly, I think she got really famous for her DIYs and she does all sorts of DIYs. I think she does like different things now, but that's how I was introduced to her. She was doing DIYs and stuff. Um, which speaking of, I have a really fun DIY project coming up that I'm filming and I'm working on and that's actually why I haven't posted in a while. But anyway, <laughs> um, I really, really, really love her makeup. It's like fierce. It's like kind of like a bold cat eye. So I've been really into her makeup lately and I want to try to do kind of my version of that. It's not going to be exactly that because obviously I don't have her face, her skills or anything like that. Um, but yeah, just kind of my twist, my take on that like fierce, bold, but make it kind of more soft Cheryl version of Amber. <laughs> like a wish version of Amber. <laughs> anyway, something like that. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah. For Amber's look, she really likes like a fierce... Hold on, let me get myself together. One second. Okay, so we have George in the background. <laughs> George, aka LeBron, my version of George. Um, if you don't know, she has like the cutest little puppy. I'll try to see if I can find a picture of him. He's so adorable, his name is George. So we have our version of George playing with his new cat toy I bought him yesterday. Um, I figured I would just do my full makeup routine because I'm kind of also getting ready for the day. But I just wanted to tell you guys about the book that I got last, I think it's literally been like over a month. Maybe not. Maybe it's been like about a month at the library. It was so good. I'm telling you. I actually still have it. I haven't returned it. I'm going to do that today. But one of the girls, it's definitely a must read. So the premise of the book is it's a bachelorette party, right? Okay. So also like it takes place in like England. Or it doesn't take place there, but that's where the people are from, right? So they don't call it like a bachelorette weekend. They call it like a Hindu, um, but it's essentially a bachelorette weekend. And what happens is six women take a trip to Greece and they all go down there. By the end of the Hindu, one of them ends up dead or somebody's gonna die, right? So when I saw that, I was like, oh, that sounds really interesting. It's like a mystery thriller and it was so good. I definitely recommend it. It's really good. What's cool is that it has six women. So you get like each chapter is like each of their unique perspective as the story progresses. It's good. It's good. I recommend it. I love stories like that. That'll that has like multiple perspectives of like different characters. It's not just one single one. I think it just adds different layers to the story. So it's really good. Um, and like it's cool because so this book has what I call like jump scares so you know somebody's gonna die right and this book had me at the edge of my seat because I know one of them is gonna die but every step of the way it's like oh, is this how she dies it's like she just the author just like teases you like this is how she might die is this who's gonna die who's the killer like it's just crazy right to the point where at the end and I'm thinking oh this is the person that's gonna die like that's horrible and then the next chapter, because like the chapter ends, I turn the page next chapter, they're still alive and it keeps going, it keeps going. So it's definitely really good. If you're into like murder mysteries, but not really, because there's no like detectives, usually murder mysteries, it's like through a detective lens and there's none of that. It's just like a whodunit type of book. But you also get to know the characters and their development um, throughout the story, throughout the book. So I definitely recommend it. It's really, really good. I told you guys I've been working on a project. That's why I've been MIA. But then also, like, Matthew had some time off. And usually when Matthew has time off, I, like, do nothing. So, I've kind of just been doing nothing lately. Which isn't good. Yeah, I forgot to tell you guys last video that I still have the book. 
So all the Baltimore County Public School, public schools, <laughs> public libraries, they don't do late fees. So you can technically have the book out, I think. So they give, they give you a checkout day for four weeks. And then if you aren't done by them, it automatically renews up to five times. So you can literally have the book for like six months without ever getting penalized. Like they don't do late fees. It's awesome. But I have had it for a little bit over a month. So I'm going to return that today because <laughs> that's not nice. Somebody else should read that book. It's really good. Um, but yeah, so I just did my foundation and now I'm going to do my eyebrows and blush. Same thing that I showed you guys last time. Nothing really exciting. I just, I'm lately I've been skipping the cream contour. I mean, not cream contour. Lately I've been skipping the, the cream blush and just moving on to powder because I don't know. It's just quicker. Um, I used to not use any blush. Like I used to just do like foundation when I was younger, but I don't know. I feel like blush, it's like cute. It makes you look youthful in my opinion. So I've just been really into it the past few years. Yeah, there was a time when I wouldn't wear blush at all. Like I thought it was pointless. But I like a very natural look. And I feel like I naturally have like redder cheeks. So like, why not, you know, let me like that. I think it looks good. I don't know. Um, so that, and then I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows. Which is just the same thing. I'm going to use the, um, the gel. Super quick. Honestly, I think I could literally do my makeup in under like 10 minutes. Have you guys heard of like 75 hard challenge? If you don't know, it's basically like, I don't, I don't want to say it's a fitness thing. I think it's more of like a mental wellness thing where for 75 days, you pretty much challenge yourself to stick to certain to certain goals, right? I have been on a weight loss journey for a really long time now. I even downloaded this app that comes with like um, a health coach and she's great, the app is great. I think it's just like me, right? Like mentally, like I just get lazy. <laughs> and that, <laughs> that's something that I struggle with. Like I think I'm just inherently a lazy person and I don't wanna be, cause it's not good. So I'm gonna start this challenge. Actually, today is my very first day. To me, it basically just keeps me accountable for the goals that I set out. So it's actually a specific thing where it has certain rules, but I'm not gonna do that specifically. I'm gonna do like my version of it, right? Where I'm just, I have a certain set of goals and for those 75 days, I have to stick to them every single day. And if I don't, if I miss a day, you have to start the challenge over. So that's something that I'm starting today. I'm really excited. If, if you guys are interested, I will keep you like, I could give you like weekly updates on like how it's going, but it's just a way to keep myself accountable and to kind of work on like my laziness and to keep pushing through. So hopefully, it works out and I'm really excited. So if I start today, I think I wouldn't end until like July 13th, I think it was. Sometime in July, <laughs> which is good. I mean, I think the summertime is like a good season to like, okay, I think that's good. Oh my gosh, so yesterday, have you ever heard of, I know lately, you know what's in for eyebrows? It's like feathery like eyebrows, like laminated eyebrow type of look, like when all your hairs are like brushed up. So yesterday I pranked Matthew. <laughs> I grabbed some lotion and I literally just like stuck all my eyebrow hairs up, up, up. And it looked so funny. And I was like, Matthew, do you like my new eyebrows? This is the new trend. <laughs> And he didn't believe me, but it really is the new trend. Um, I think, I think what they, I think what they do to get it like that when they laminate, I think they must trim their eyebrow. Cause when I did it, my eyebrows hairs were really long, which it doesn't even, you wouldn't think that it would be so long. Cause I don't think I have very bold eyebrows, but 
I guess they're just very long. I want to try that one day. Eyebrow lamination. I wonder if it'll look good. Like professionally done, not silly done <laughs> the way that I did it. Okay, eyebrows done. What's next? That's it. Okay, we're gonna do the makeup look and then, I mean, sorry, we're gonna do the eye. Okay, so technically, she has, it's like a signature eyeliner look. I actually don't really have an eyeliner. So what I've been doing, hold on, let me find the brush. Her signature look is eyeliner, like a cat eyeliner, fox eyeliner, if you will. It was kind of trendy, like, I think last year, but I'm kind of late to this trend. It's fine. <laughs> After seeing Amber, I think it just looked so cool that I had to try it. So basically, I don't have an eyeliner because I'm not like really an eyeliner girl. So what I do instead, instead of using eyeliner is I use eyeshadow. So I will take a brush like this, just like an angle short brush, and I'll take a dark eyeshadow. So I do like a dark brown eyeshadow instead of like a black because I like the fierceness of it. I just don't want it to be that bold. I think because I keep my foundation and look very natural, I think it would look weird if it was like very bold and harsh lines and then just like plain face, I guess. Not plain face, but you know what I mean. So it's gonna be a softer version of that, I guess. Yes, bold and glam, but like a little bit less, a little bit more natural, if you will, if that makes any sense. So I use, Wait, this. So I use a dark brown eyeshadow. So I use this pen, this pen. <laughs> I use this brush and I wet the tip a little bit. Um, I just dip it in water, but if you have setting spray, you can do that to wet the brush. I actually ran out of setting spray, so I don't have that. I just wet it with a little bit of just clean water, filtered water. How I like to do it is I'll do kind of both eyes at the same time. That just makes sure that it's even because if I do one eye, then I have to like worry about recreating it on the other eye and it's just complicated. So I like to do both eyes at the same time. So I'll start at the end like this. I'll give myself like the little signature wing that she has and I go smaller and then if I want it longer, then I'll like work my way out just because it's easier to maintain control that way. Um, so angle brush, right? I take it so that the longer side of like the angled brush is like slanted like this way. And then I have to kind of widen my eye and then I just follow like the, um, the line of my upper line, lash line, of my lower lash line. I just follow it up. stamp it and then I go on the other side and I do the same thing okay and I take a little bit more eyeshadow on the still damp brush or wet brush and then I just bring it across and I make sure that I like it that it's even and then I do the same thing on the other side. I think it's even. I think I like it. And then I just keep going. So for this part, what you can do is actually try to like press it on and stamp it. Um, so that way you get more of a definition like this. Um, and if you feel like you need more, you can always re-dip or re-wet the brush. And then just do that and that way it's uh yes it is bold but it's also not too heavy not too crazy and i feel like it works well with having kind of more of a natural um sorry that was my contact <laughs> i got a little eyeshadow on my eye um, yeah, but just do this slowly. Take your time with it. Don't rush. 
and I think the dark the dark brown looks better with just a more natural foundation than the black would in my opinion I think um, and then to do her little inner wing that she does because that I think that's what makes it look like more elongated and like elegant you just take the corner of the slanted and then follow like the and then you just follow like the shape of your inner corner like this and then like i said i like to just stamp it on okay and that's one eye and then yeah it's gonna end up kind of light obviously if you want more of like a darker brown you can just keep layering it you know re-dipping it if you feel like your brush needs to be a little bit more damp re-dipping it and then just work on and then just work on whatever um what work on whatever however thick you want the line or however bold you want it however dark if you want more of a lighter look just leave it and then yeah just work on the other side again just kind of stamp it on If you feel like it doesn't look even, don't worry, we're, you can fix that and just work slowly and build. But before I move on to the wing, I'm just going to do the inner corner of this side. Yeah, so the key is just to try to make it as even as possible. Amber likes to kind of wing it out a lot. So if you want to go for that look, you can. If you want to keep it short, you can also do that. I've been keeping it short, but I think I want to try to do something a little bit more longer. Like the way she does it. And there you have it. That's my version of Amber's makeup. AKA wish version. <laughs> um, always gonna look a little bit crazy before your lashes. So I think I'm happy with this. Don't forget to put a little bit underneath your lower lash line just to make it a little bit more cohesive and make your eyes look a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna put that. There, I'm happy with this. So I'm going to do my mascara real quick um, and then show you guys how it looks with that. that book um i'm gonna do my hair first because i don't want to go out looking crazy thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed subscribe and like if you did um see you guys next time bye say bye george lebron be george be cute like george say bye say thank you for watching love you bye <laughs>